we have to remember that William Finch was a slave. Um, and he taught himself to read, and then he pushed himself to get to the next level, and he has changed the course of every single member of our family's lives. And I'm a great-great-granddaughter, and I'm affected and changed by what he did because my father was affected by his father, who was affected by his father, who was affected by William Finch. It's very important for people to recognize that one person can change the dynamics of your family. Um, because of him, and I will attest this to him, we have so many prominent members of our family, and we can't just say it was just, oh, it was just me, or you know, I'm just so great that I just happened to do that. No, our ancestors set us up on a course, and all he asked everybody to do was just you know, comply with that course. And that was through education, that was through success, and that was through being a family man, and that was through passing that on to the next generation. So fathers and mothers, it's very important that whatever value system you have, if you don't have a value system, you need to get one because children latch on to value systems. And William Finch had a very high one. And if you pass that value system down, which is usually hard work, um, he was a man of God, he was a family man, and you continue to pass that on, your children and your great-grandchildren, all the way down the line, will continue to be more and more successful. And so it just takes that one ancestor, that one person to change the direction of entire um, genealogy of your family.